Good morning, it is August 15th, meaning it's like halfway through August, which is kind of scary. Summer is pretty much gone. But anyways, this morning I am making some breakfast and unloading the dishwasher. I got dishes all over the place. And after this, I need to do some housekeeping things. I've got my winter tires in the trunk that I really need to take out and put in the shed. And then I really need to go for a workout. So that is the plan thus far. For some reason today I woke up with the worst headache. I'm not really sure why. I'm not feeling super dehydrated or anything. I almost it almost feels like a hangover headache, but I didn't have any alcohol yesterday, so I don't understand. Maybe it's just heat. Hi. Can you do that cute thing again where you were looking out the window? No? Why not? Where's your Kong? Bring me your Kong. Get your Kong. Get your Kong. Bring it to me. Give me your Kong. Put it in my hand. Thank you. So for those of you who don't know what a Kong is, this is basically a rubber dog toy that's hollow inside and you can put pretty much any like uh, spreadable treat in here. Sometimes you can get um, Kong fillings like from the brand Kong itself to fill the Kong with, but we usually just use peanut butter because I mean, he freaking loves that. Are you excited? Are you excited? Do you want peanut butter? He's like, why are you talking like that? Just give me peanut butter. Guys, look how massive this peanut butter jar is. I can barely grasp it over with my hand. Like, holy crap. So this is what it looks like when it's filled with peanut butter. As you can tell, me and Jill aren't excited to drink tonight at all. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm going drinking with my friends tonight. Pretty exciting. Uh, I think we're going to go downtown, which I haven't done in a long time. I, I don't, I honestly don't remember the last time I went downtown drinking. So this should be interesting. And if you're not familiar with St. John's saying that I'm going downtown probably doesn't mean much. So let me explain that. By downtown, we actually mean George Street. George Street is a really famous uh, strip of street in downtown St. John's with, that has all bars and clubs. Like it has the most bars and clubs in one particular area of anywhere in North America. So I think that's what it is. But yeah, very famous. That is gonna be the plan for tonight. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out for vlogging. It might be good, it might be bad, not really sure. We shall see. But yeah, so now I'm going to put on some workout gear, go to get my tires out of the trunk, and then probably go to the gym. It is definitely another hot day outside. I just put the tires in the shed, and I'm already sweating. I already feel like I did cardio. So yeah, I'm gonna go do more exercise now, and I'll check in with you guys later. like this when I leave the house. I don't understand. Look how stuck he's being. He's barking his head off. So I just left the gym and I went to the bank, got some cash for tonight. I ran into one of my old friends from like back in the day, like junior high, high school. So I chatted with her for about five, ten minutes. And now I'm gonna head to the liquor store. Boom's check. So to anyone who is familiar with Kim Out Road, you probably know that it's a very like risky road to drive on. There's usually a lot of it's a lot of lanes and there's a lot of turning going on from a lot of businesses and it's generally not fun to drive on. I was just leaving the liquor store and I have to drive Kim Out Road in order to get back to my house and this utility van from Quebec decided to turn out like left from the other side of the road in front of me so I slowed down, honked, and he kind of waited there in the turning lane for the other side of the road 
but then as soon as I started driving straight to get out of his way, he started turning into my lane. So I almost got completely sideswept. So I had to like swerve around into the next lane and speed up to get out of his way and not get hit. Ugh, it was so stressful. <laughs> It's like, it was like one of those situations where I actually thought I was going to get into an accident. Like, it scared the shit out of me. So, yeah. I'm a little freaked out right now. I'm pissed. So here's my lunch today. I'm eating some smoked salmon sushi from Bento Express. This is the kind you get at Sobeys. And I really like this one. Ooh. <laughs> Just figured I should add in here that I'm well aware that the license plate was from Quebec. So it's possible that they're not from here, but still you should have enough common sense to know how much time you have to turn left in a double lane road like that. You know, maybe not risk it if you're driving a company vehicle type of thing. Bless you. See the boss. Go get the boss. Pick one. Bring it back. when it comes to fetch. So I just took my nail polish off and I'm trying to decide which color to put on next because I'm not really sure. So I've decided on silver for my fingers and I'm actually going to change out the darker polish on my toes for this one from Essie. It's one of my newer ones. It's called French Affair and I really like this one. It's a pretty pastel pink. So I just applied some Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment to my face and I look crazy now but my skin really needed it today, it feels really congested and I'm starting to feel some breakouts coming in from all the sweat and oil and stuff. So now I'm going to work on my nails a little bit, get the uh, cuticles and everything ready for new polish and then I'm probably going to shower. having bagel bites for supper because I'm secretly six years old and I don't really want to cook anything because it's still so freaking hot. So I just finished eating supper. I have the rest of my coke here. Skipper's there next to me. He was mooching the whole time but I was so hungry I forgot to share some with him. Anyways, uh, the plan for right now is I'm actually going over to Jill's tonight like at before we go out and when we come home from going out, I'm going to sleep over there. So hopefully Mr. Skipper will be okay by himself for a couple of hours. I'll be home pretty early in the morning, I think. I don't really sleep much when I'm out at other people's houses, so... Yeah, that is the plan right now. I guess I'm going to go ahead and get ready, seeing as I've eaten my supper. So I just tried the Beauty Blender for the first time, and it's okay. Um, I'm not super impressed with it, to be honest. Now, that, that opinion could change. I mean, this is only the first time I used it. But I felt like I had to work with it a bit more than the Real Techniques one. That one seemed to do more of the work for me than this. So, yeah. So far, it's okay. But I have to take into account that this sponge is slightly drier um, right now than my Real Techniques one normally is when I use it. So, I might need to try it again maybe tomorrow or the next day with a little bit more water in it and see if that helps. So I just applied my under eye concealer using the other end of the beauty blender and honestly I think I like it better for under eye concealer. There's something about the point of this one that's a little bit more sturdy than the Real Technique sponge so I think I like this one better for under eye concealer so far and the Real Techniques one I like better for foundation. So this one for concealer, the other one for foundation. That could change over time but that is like my first impression of it. Ooh. 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 If you guys have never heard this comedy skit by Chris Delia, oh my god, Drunk Girls is the funniest thing ever. I pretty much listen to it every time I'm going out with the girls because it's so accurate. <laughs> Waiting for that lash glue to dry. I'm going to attempt to use these falsies I bought at Sephora yesterday. We'll see what happens. So the first eyelash is on. So far so good. It doesn't feel too uncomfortable. So now I'm waiting for the second one glue to like dry. Okay, lash number two is on. So we just gotta let this dry, put on some eyeliner, finish the freak out of my makeup because I feel like I'm taking forever. And I totally forgot that I changed my outfit and we decided to all wear dresses tonight. So this one I actually bought at a store called Envy, but this uh, dress is really popular online too. There are a lot of stores uh, online that actually make this dress, both in a full maxi dress and a short dress. I paid about $88 for it, which is a bit overpriced online. You can get it a lot cheaper. So if I can find a link for it, I'll leave it down below. And I think I'm just going to wear like strappy sandals on the bottom. I don't think I'm going to wear heels tonight because I think it's just going to kill my feet with the heat. 
All right, the makeup is done, finally. So now I need to do something with my hair. I'm not really sure what to do with my hair, to be honest. So I figured out what to do with my hair after, and I really like how it turned out. Basically what I did was I curled my hair loosely, like not really caring about little pieces and that type of thing. And then I took some of my Frederick for Kai Beach Soleil, Soleil Beach Wave Spray, and I sprayed this all around the curls and like scrunched it up. And I really like how it turned out. It's kind of beachy, but it's still formal looking at the same time. And I haven't curled my hair in a really long time, so I'm happy with it. Uh, red. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we're playing a card game now called Red, Black, High, or Low, and it's a really good way to finish your drink if you need a quick way to chug your drink. Just saying. Like, this is my second one gone. Jill's is gone. Ashley's is a can, so we can't really tell, but it's like almost gone. It's almost gone. <laughs> it's almost gone. So yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for one more person to come, and then we're gonna hit George Street, which I will be vlogging, by the way. So Ashley's enjoy. gonna take it over if I get embarrassed, so we'll see. At this self tanning disaster. Oh my god, guys, I didn't notice this was even happening until like two minutes ago. <laughs> oh dear. And as you can tell, it is the next day now. I just got home from Jill's house. It's around 9 30 in the morning. So I guess my plan now is to just relax and wash the rest of this makeup off and eat junk food today. And that's gonna be everything for this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, something a little bit different. I don't go out like drinking like that very often, so I felt like it was vlog worthy. And me and my friends were talking about how it might be funny to vlog downtown, but there was a lot of people down there last night, so I felt really awkward just kind of taking out my camera and filming them, like scenes of like the street and stuff, I mean. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!